What's going on, Aries? Uh, welcome to Told as Love Tarot with Megan, the Gemini Meg. Um, this message is for anybody who has Aries in their, heavy in their chart, in their sun, moon, rising, and Venus specifically, though. Um, thank you for coming by. I'm up here in Massachusetts where we just had a snowstorm, so I'm in my, uh, winter festive shirt, but I'm listening to summery, chill music to make me feel warmer. Does Aries feel cold and want to be warm right now? I have a few messages before I jump into the reading for you, uh, Aries. First thing is, and this is pretty specific. This, I mean, this is definitely specific. Um, hearing from someone you worked with, specifically worked with, but it could be just someone that you knew that is the second you met them, you had a vibe instantly with them, like a chemistry connection. Um, one or both of you may have been in relationships at the time, but there was a reason why you never linked up besides that you may have worked together. Um, anyway, hearing from someone or running into someone that the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, you knew this person and you had a crush on them. Every time you see them, it's like, oh my God, like, like the vibe is still there. Like, but you've never been able to act on it. You guys have never been together. Um, you could be in the process of changing everything in your house or in your life. I actually saw someone scribbling their signature on a check, scribbling out checks. It's scribbling out so many checks that like it's that's why it's scribbly because they've been writing so many checks. It's scribbly. Maybe someone's having a new start or a new addition to the family or they've had a new addition to the family that's been very costly. Um, we'll see. This is for Aries or a new project that's very costly. Aries, told us love tarot with Meg. On a chilly Friday, New England evening, Aries is cold and doesn't want to talk. because you're busy talking to that person from 2017, 2018. This person could have broke your heart in the past because that just flew this card. Three of Swords um, flew out. Could be someone you just knew in 2018 that wants to reach out. I hear like offer like an olive branch, like this person's offering something to try to repair Maybe some damage done in the past. Or it could be you that broke someone's heart and you're reaching out to that person to try to make amends. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a work card here again. Like it could be someone you worked with. I don't know why I'm picking that up. Maybe you're picking things back up again where you left off. Maybe you knew this person in school, like college classes or high school or like depending how old you are or maybe like in education, you were both educators. So the King of Cups um, reverse came out. The Knight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck and the Four of Wands came out. So <clears throat> this is the order of the cards I've seen. 
I see two people that were together. This could be a relationship, a friendship. You've each created your own lives and gone your separate ways. Um, but it's like, uh, there'll always be love. Like, I respect you. You respect me. A mutual nod of the hat to each other. But, or maybe you're both going, all right, I just got something else. You both have your own heartaches and emotional stuff going on. And you've found some sort of companionship or um, solidarity by communicating with this person about their heartaches. Because the King of Cups reverse, I just see a, a heartache and this shows a female, so someone else hurt, but they've come together and they're talking about the things that have hurt them. Um, could be even like as deep as like childhood stuff that you're revealing to each other. There's a lot of like, I see two hearts here. Like whether you're both hurting or not, there's a, like a lot of love here. Like it's, it could be a, I love you, but it could be a, like, I have love for you because those are two different things for me. Like there are people I have love for, but it's different than when I love someone, like I'm in love with them. I see two people who could be like, I could, I see two people who like maybe knew each other in the past. Um, there was like some separation or whatever. And you each are having like casual, like, Hey, what's up? You have like a common heartache and a car common heartache that you both know about, but, and that's like what's brought you together, but neither one of you want to talk about it. It could have been the break, a breakup. It could have been someone, um, losing a job or leaving a job. This could have been someone you thought would be in your life, like you'd be talking to them for like the rest of your life. It could be someone from work, but I just, I see like, nobody's like admitting that you guys would like to like talk or be friends or try to repair the past. Um... Could have been a lot of partying with this person. Drinking specifically. I feel like someone's guard is slowly coming down. Like this used to be wicked thick. And they're slowly but surely like, I'm taking my sticks down, my guard from you. But I still got my eye on you. I still got one eye looking over my shoulder. It's like you're moving towards like something possibly if this is a relationship or repairing the past, but someone's still like, I got my eye on you. One slip up. One slip up. I'm cutting you off and you back out. You back out. I didn't even see that. I'm, I'm going to let you come in from the cold, but you do one, one thing. You're gone. One thing wrong, you're gone. You say the wrong thing, you make me feel insecure about myself in one way. 
I just heard like two. Like that'll be it. Like that's the. This is someone's like last chance to be like a good human being. I just heard. <laughs> I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I've had some faith in you. I've had faith that you're not the snobby bastard that I think you are. I just heard. Someone's acting like a snot, maybe, or act or has acted in the past like they were better than other people, and this person's been humbled. I feel like I'm seeing a new start to something, but it's like... It's like nobody's making the first move towards initiating the vibe that you guys are sensing. Hmm, Aries. Ooh, the Empress card came flying out. This could be the mother of your children or a mother figure or... Um, Wow, the Empress and the Emperor reversed. The Ace of Wands came out too. Yeah, I feel like this is the like father of someone's child or like um or someone's parent. Um, I see like a masculine not saying anything, and it's like the feminine who's reaching out. trying to manifest I just heard someone coming back even though you know that like this person has been hurtful with words and shysty even though this person's a shysty person it's like you still want them to come back it could be a family member I just get like two like parents like it could be your mom or this could be your your daughter or or your partner like you're the wife and your husband you're coming back together or if you're cross watching you're the emperor who's been booted out but it's going to be fixed uh, let's get one more card for aries one more card for Aries this is on this Chile Friday night for me. Okay, you got the, yeah, I just feel like someone's waiting on an offer that hasn't come in yet, but it's like, you know, it's going to come in. Like, you know, this person's going to talk to me, but it's just, and going to offer this an apology. Yeah, you're going to have, you know, it's coming, but it's just not here yet. You're going to have to wait. Someone's going to have to wait. And I feel like someone's... Like, no, you can wait. I'm in no rush. It could be a month before I'm ready. Good for you, Aries. Thanks for coming by, and I will see you next time.